Hey guys, my name is Sagar and I'm a third year mechanical engineering PhD student at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign in the US and in this video I'm going to give you a tour of my lab, I'm going to show you what my desk looks like as a PhD student and I'm also going to talk a little bit about what I do for my research. So let's go. Alright, let's do a little bit of a lab tour. This entire area from here to the second room, to the third room, to the fourth room at the end belongs to our research lab. It's pretty cool. This behind me is the chemical slash bio area. These are the refrigerators where we store our samples. I work here sometimes when I have to prep my samples for the experiments, but not a lot. They have some equipment here like the sonicator and stuff. Or the sonicator or the centrifuge, which I use occasionally for, again, for my samples. This uh, is again a shelf. This again, like the middle area where we keep a lot of chemicals. We have the weighing scales and some computers in this little room here we used to have a lot more equipment but then this room actually got flooded one day like a month or two ago anyway this room got flooded and the roof came down and all the equipment over here got damaged thankfully none of the important stuff got damaged so yeah that would have been a nightmare if you had to build the entire setups and all the equipment from scratch again and this room behind me is mainly the room that i work in we have one two and three microscope setups in this room which is pretty fancy to be honest the one i work in is at the end over here this is predominantly my microscope setup this is where i do all of my experiments so this right here is the microscope uh, this over here is my microfluidic device that's duct taped to the setup uh, <laughs> It's not the most elegant looking solution, but it's uh, it, it works. These are my fluid reservoirs. These are connected to the device. Over here are the pressure pumps, which I used to pressurize them. Here uh, on this computer, we have all the code uh, and the interface, which we use to control this uh, setup. So yeah, this is pretty fancy and expensive stuff. And let me know if you want to know more about this. So I basically work in microfluidics. I have these little 3D printed microfluidic devices, uh, which have micron size channels in them. I can flow fluids inside of them basically what i work with i have little particle clusters connected by liquid bridges and i suspend those clusters in flow inside those microfluidic devices and i study their dynamics their breakup dynamics their tumbling dynamics and all of that stuff i know it's it's not very straightforward and it's a very niche thing to be explaining uh, in general right now these days i'm not really doing a lot of experiments because i am working on writing up my paper but once that is done i will get back to the drawing board uh, start a new project and and get back to the setup again designing a new experiment collecting all the data and all of that jazz so yeah, let's go back to the office and start working on the paper again all right it's around 3 15 nobody's in the office except for me so i think this is a great time to do a little office tour kind of a thing so the office in general is pretty spacious the desks are pretty large only the grad students from our office or our lab have desks in this room which is nice we get to talk to each other interact within the group the only problem is that there is no sunlight coming in from the windows the windows just open up to the inside of the building that's one problem i have with the office but otherwise they're pretty good so this is what my desk looks like it's an l-shaped desk which is what i love about it an l-shaped desk and an l-shaped couch are two things that i wanted in life and i have them right now so you know life is good i have two monitors which increases productivity massively there's my lab notebook this is a random assortment of things that i have i have two water bottles for some reason my vitamin d pills and here i have made a little attempt to try to decorate my desk i have done a pretty terrible job at it but it's a start this is a little dog that i painted uh his name is zoom he has a little bmw logo on his neck and he's also very professional because he has a bow tie and then i have my ids from some of the conferences i went to uh, i have this picture with a friend of mine at the willis tower in chicago i also have this roulette fidget spinner that i got from vegas when i went to the aps conference i think this is one of the best things that i have on my desk right behind me you can see some sticky notes right here and some sticky notes over there which i have put up in random places on my desk to remind myself of things i am a big fan of sticky notes I always have sticky notes with myself. This is my go-to method to write my to-do list. And I think a sticky note of this size is exactly the right size to have a to-do list of major tasks for the day. I love sticky notes. If anyone wants to send me sticky notes as a gift, uh, I'll happily accept. Mm -hmm. 